is there balance between faith and ambition? So I'm trying to take this concept of faith and ambition and try to find a balance if there is one. What is the interception? Where, where, where do you need to apply faith? And then you say, what is faith? And then what is ambition? Why is this necessary? Well, a lot of people, it's necessary because life has to be lived by knowledge, right? Life has to be lived by knowledge. We are spirit beings that have soul and live in the body. If that's what we are, a three-dimensional existence, or we have three dimensions of existence, like our spirit, your soul, your body, you got a physical body, right? You can work on this body and get certain results. And now you can also you have a soulish realm, which I, I mean like your mind. You can have a great looking body, but your mind is really sick. Your mind can be really in a, in a very tough place. And not tough play because of what you're going through, right? People have different ways of processing things. You might be really poor in terms of your mindset. Or you, you, are, you have financial wealth. Your body looks great. So the mind is, is a realm of existence, right? You, you know, you can't just treat, um, you can't just operate on someone that has to do, apart from certain heart surgery, without having gone certain level of knowledge right that gives you that wisdom to do that and now the other dimension is your spirit being so do i need all three to have faith right and and then where is the ambition because i see a lot of young people a lot of people struggle because they're trying to combine faith and ambition and many times like i look at things sometimes again from 3d perspective i say it's a you know multi-level multi-dimensional problem Meaning it's, it's something that's spirit, soul, and body, or is it something that is spirit only, or is it a soulish problem, or is it a body problem, right? And that could be in a, you know, in a session, but what is the dominant factor here? Because I want to attack, you know, that dominant factor. So let's try to define what is faith. What is faith? And then what is ambition? Growing up as a young person, uh, growing up, you know, in a Christian home, right we were taught to believe to have faith in god that when you do that everything will work out fine you know and um and because of such kind of upbringing and not just me many people so we tend to attribute a lot of things to god right it's easy when you see someone doing really well oh wow see God has blessed the person. And in turn, that leads us to start saying, oh, God bless me. Why haven't God blessed you? Because we're interpreting that based on how we've been brought up, what we've heard. You know, it, it seems to some, some degree that if a lot of people say the same thing, it sounds like truth. So even though it may not be the truth. So attributing those things to God because that's how that's what we do, right? That allow us to see, not to see things properly, right? Say, hey, well, somebody's doing well, maybe God loves them. God, why don't you love me? I've been doing all this, right? I've been working hard, but I have faith. I believe, right? Looking at faith as believing, which it is true that a part of faith is believing for something and holding on to that. You say faith, perseverance, but faith, you have faith, you do that, right? You believe in and not because of believing, because you have faith. Now we think that faith will bring the result, right? Believing for something will now bring the result. So, and then, so we're going to look at it literally, right? If you believe, if you're, you know, you're a soccer player and you believe you're going to win the game or your team is going to win the championship, well, it's good to believe. Now, what about the action, right? So 
Because you believe, you have to put in some action to get the result, right? So that means having that faith, which is really, you could call it hope, believe it, right? But that alone, when it comes to the physical realm, if you look at things from 3D, spirit, soul, and body, believing that does not get the result. It is a starting point, right? It is a starting point. You got to believe. As you believe, then you say, hey, what is the work that drives the action? The work that drives the action is separate from believing. Somebody may not believe. But do the work that leads to give the action, they will get the action, right? Someone may not believe. Like I said, someone can believe and do the opposite. They do some work, but the work they're doing is against the action, the, the, the desired outcome. Like what my friend would tell me, hustling backwards, right? They will not get the action. But I, said, but I believed. I believed it. I worked, I showed up every day. I did the work. But is that the right kind of work? So one believing that is work, there's what kind of work, right? Does this work lead to the right action? It's important because if, if not, you will be really frustrated. A lot of people are frustrated because they're not getting the result. They, they have the ambition there. They have faith, but you're not seeing any result that's one category not a category looks at it from from the spiritual perspective that i believe in god i have faith not just i believe that the physical thing will happen i have faith in god right therefore when i work i should get a result you will be so the question is is that true is that how God has explained himself? Is that if, if you do a study of the character of God, of the things that God have talked about, right? Is that how it was presented? Not, is that how it's being taught? Because a lot of things we're told, right? Even today, we realize it. That even in the even in the healthcare community, that a lot of the things they told us was not as it sound or looked. Right? There were other interested parties. There were there were other uh, influences that shaped the real answers. So that something again is was told to us or explained to us of how your dad, your mom, your parents, everybody said it says it is doesn't mean that's what it is right so that has to believe by knowledge it whether it is a spiritual part the physical part you cannot just rely on what somebody say or what you've been told before you gotta ask questions again right and look at the writing or the writing i'll say right look try to understand what is the real definition of things so going back to, so the other part, like if you, a lot of young Christians really struggle with this and, and not be really by, because of their fault, just by the consequence of the, the environment we live, right? We are product of, to some degree, not ultimately, right? Our environment, where you live, where you grow up, do impact how you process things. 